guys so it is oh my god I can't believe this July 17th and I am on I'm not sure what day it is um day five of having documented COVID symptoms I should say at this point it should be no it's day four I'm sorry day four of having so we're I'm on day four of having documented COVID symptoms I should say I do apologize for the angle of the camera um my husband is relatively symptom free now his allergies started to flare up yesterday um <clears throat> We're all noticing an increase of mucus buildup. Um, I'm all itchy, which is, again, inflammatory response. My little boy's itchy. He's coughing. I coughed a lot. <coughs> I coughed a lot last night. Um, I do have cough medicine I'm taking as needed. Um, <clears throat> I took a pill this morning. And... <clears throat> yeah so overall I feel okay I would say the number one symptom I'm feeling is ex fatigue and I just don't feel right hey you guys I know y'all can't really see me um I'm still in bed everyone's still asleep let me try to get up some I do apologize <sighs> um Girl, let me get my pamphlet. <laughs> oh, jeez. I am on day one, two, day seven. Day seven of having the coronavirus. And um, I should say this is the fifth day after my positive result. Fifth day? Yeah, fifth day after my positive result. Um, I had no coughing last night. Thank the Lord. The first time I slept all the way through with no coughing. And, um, I only had coughing at night for three or four nights. So, you know, um, nasally still, allergies are still inflared. Uh, so I'm going to do a nasal rinse when I get up. <sighs> Alright, you guys. So, <clears throat> it is the 18th of july and i feel okay today now jp woke up and he was like mommy i can't clear my throat i can't clear my throat so i'm assuming it's mucus buildup um my husband had horrible we both had horrible allergy flare-ups yesterday my nasal started to burn really really bad so i already had saline rinses here <clears throat> so i did a saline rinse um and what else extreme fatigue yesterday i started for the first time i started experiencing shortness of breath and um chest pain i don't know why i thought i was playing with jb <clears throat> mucus still <clears throat> I was playing around with JB, just dancing a little bit of hopping around caused me to get winded and out of breath. Um, so today I mostly relax. My husband is out. <coughs> My husband is done. He's like, he can't really, you know, do much of anything. And so it's his allergies. You guys, I, what I'm finding with this virus is that your whatever underlying issues you have depending on how bad it is it just flares it up it's it's an inflammatory it's basically what it does um an inflammatory virus that attacks your body um and everyone's different um i know my lips are kind of peeling i need to drink some more everyone's body is going to be different and every day hell it almost seems like every other hour you can experience a different symptom very frustrating and so but today has been my best day and unfortunately today my husband has felt the worst today has been his worst day um just doesn't feel good and that's how i've been feeling off and on you can tell i'm feeling better because i'm rambling now so 
I'm gonna get some rest here. I made some chicken soup, no, some um, potato corn soup. We ordered in last night. Yes, Yesterday was the best day we had in a long time because when I tell you that this is dra this is draining on you as an individual, um, and my, my uh, JB just running around like nothing like nothing's going on. You know, he's just child, so he thinks everything's fine, and so. But it's just so. It's tiring. It's because you you think you're gonna get better, and then something happened, and I'm I am forever grateful that our symptoms have been mild. But it's just this lingering, you know, it's still lingering there and you're tired. Um, so one of the things I did to help uh, boost up my, my, you know, self-esteem is I started posting and I'll show you guys. I printed out positive affirmations. I'm a believer in positive affirmation affirmations, excuse me. I've used them for years, for the past five years. Visualization, the uh, refrigerator door, I put one on our bathroom door, and then I even printed out a visualization. I'll show you guys what it looks like real quick and I have to go check on my soup. So I did this really quick um, two days ago when I was just, just at my lowest and so this says I am the Lord who hears you Exodus 15 26 you have a purpose I think everyone has a purpose and I really good morning you guys um <clears throat> uh, I slept well last night you know waking up and still have mucus and stuff <clears throat> in my throat this is normal this is how it's been for about a, um, four or five days now. Slept pretty good. Um, still sleeping in separate bedrooms until my husband can feel pretty good. Um, uh, yesterday was probably one of the worst days. And again, I thought we were, uh, as a family, like right now, I'm okay. I, I feel, for me personally, I feel the best I've ever felt. But when my family hurts, I hurt. So, <clears throat> my husband's symptoms were the absolute worst. Um, he did go to the urgent care and they refused to give him any allergy medicine. <laughs> they are basically, that particular doctor stated that this is just the COVID and I understand you have allergies, but we want to avoid giving you steroids because that will weaken your immune system. Whereas me, I've been on my albuterol inhaler, I've been on my nebulizer, and the doctor, another doctor, actually prescribed me steroids. So I'm like, what? <clears throat> um, I'm not really gonna go down that path because it has been absolute hell trying to find someone who will even see my husband heads up there is going to be if you or anyone in your family gets this you have to see the doctor for another symptom there's going to be some discrimination um all he needs is an allergy shot and no one will touch him no one will touch him no one will see him a lot of places are not even seeing COVID patients <clears throat> a lot of people are saying oh go to your primary care his primary care doesn't even have any spots open until August. Are you serious? The earliest he could get in to see his doctor is August 4th. Um, and when, uh, with all this going on, his fever just spikes, go up, spikes. At night, it gets to 101, 99. Now, I'm telling him, well, I'm not telling him anything. I'm advising him you know, I don't think you should take any fever reducing medication because a fever is actually good. It's, you, you want to have a fever. You just don't want it to go, um, get too high because the fever helps to kill the virus, right? <clears throat> so at this point, <clears throat> I am so frustrated. At this point, tomorrow will make 14 days that he will have had COVID. Um, and like I said, I'll give a whole round roundabout of what happened at the, when this is all over. 
So uh, his job keeps calling him, wondering, you know, how his symptoms are doing because they have shortages in the laboratory. And the hospital, the PPE, uh, the N95's PPE and face shields are reserved for those who have direct contacts with COVID patients. My husband and them are using Flimley surgical masks. So I'm pretty sure he bought this home to us. That's the crappy part. More than likely he did. Now, it will depend on JB's and I, um, <clears throat> our results because we got tested early on and we still haven't gotten those results yet. We're looking at now going on uh, nine or 10 days that we took that test. Now I, I went to the ER, like I said, to get, my, to get my rapid test and that's how I know I'm positive. Now, JB woke up the night before a little hot. I didn't take his temperature because I'm like, you can go back to bed. Yesterday he started to experience a fever. It was running a hundred. I let it run for a while. I know he wasn't feeling good. He was still playing a little bit. I let it run for a couple of hours. And then right before bed, I gave him flu, um, um, Tylenol. Cause I don't want my baby, he needs to sleep. But I let it run all day. I didn't give him anything. And he was in good spirits. He would get up, he would play, he drunk Gatorade. Um, and so last night, right before, you know, I gave it to him before bed, gave him a bath and some extensional oils, um, and it dropped down to 98, 98.1 when I put him to bed, and it is six o'clock and he hasn't woken up. So, yeah, he's starting to show a fever. Uh, my, I still don't have a fever. Um, so y'all, this is, ugh. one of my tips with this particular mini vlog is, Make sure that you have plenty of medication. Another thing I've been doing every day, especially in the morning, is breathing exercises. So if you have asthma, if you have any lung issues, it's cause right now I can feel this right here is tight. It's tight right here, right now. Not too bad, but it's, it feels like I've done a lot of upper body exercises, okay? So what I've been doing is taking a deep breath in, holding it for five seconds and releasing it. I do that six times, okay? I do it several times all throughout the day. I take a deep breath. <sighs> that opens up your lungs and stuff like that. Um, and I'm up walking around. I don't sit down for a long time, um, but also I have a dry cough. It's wet right now, but as the day goes on, I have a dry cough. So I'm up walking around, doing stuff. Basically, I'm being active when I feel like it. And if I'm not, I rest. So that's it for today, you guys. I don't want to sound too... Hey, you guys. So it is, oh God, a week after I tested it positive. Um, 12 days after my husband tested positive. Two days ago, JB had a fever. Did I tell y'all this? I don't remember. My days are bleeding into. And now two days later, he's fine. But now this is the alarming part. They should not be reopening any schools in person. JB showed no symptoms up until a week. Excuse me. Um, like I said, he, he, wasn't, he hasn't been showing any symptoms. And two days before he had the fever, he was um, sneezing his same asthmatic cough if I didn't know any better I would assumed that it was his allergies um, besides the fever it mimics to him allergies same thing for me allergies same thing for my husband now now heightened allergy issues again it's inflammatory I'm very blessed I am so very blessed grateful to God because there are so many people who not but I still I'm going to say this and again I'll save it for the the end of the commentary I believe a lot of people will survive this I I believe that uh, the the information on the media has heightened the fear um, I also think that when they are disclosing the information of how many people have died they should let us know how many people have tested positive first of all how many people have tested overall then how many people have tested positive how many people have tested negative how many people have survived it and then how many people have passed away when you see all those numbers collectively as a whole i think that will 
ease up the fear that's going on. But absolutely, I understand because catch this. This is the reason why I think the school should definitely not open in person. If I didn't know any better, I was walking around fine because I'm still waiting on my results. We are now 10 days that we visited on a health care. Okay, baby, put it right there. It's been 10 days since JB and I got tested. I still don't know his status. Clearly he has it. I know mine because I went to the ER. Okay. So let's ask JB, how have you been feeling? So how did you feel the other day? <laughs> how did you feel the other day, pumpkin, when you had the fever? How did I, you feel? I felt tired. You felt tired. And because I woke up last night and I you know, like I, I like my head was hurting too. Mm -hmm. And and Sorry, I was hot and tired, and um, I was I was um playing with tried to play with lead. I was building something. Mhm. Mm I was playing with Legos to try to keep my mind off of it, and and so I, and I and I and I, tried, and I took my Lego bill, put it on the edge of my bed, and then and then tried to go to sleep. And, and, tried to go to sleep. and, I, and I told her that I wasn't feeling good, and then. Um, how to cough drop and you cough <laughs> um, um, and we prayed as soon as he had a fever, we prayed, and um, yeah, y'all, it's just one day at a time, and so uh, I will continue to do daily updates of this thing until I feel like we don't have it. It'll get your foot out of it, it'll be another week for me. Um, Hey you guys, so I am back. This is the final commentary release, oh my gosh, um, of our experience with COVID, the coronavirus. So, <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> that, was, that wasn't a cough cough, that was clearing my throat cough. Um, let me, I have notes here you guys, um, yeah. I want this part of the video to be hopefully less than 10 minutes because you would have now seen almost 20 minutes of footage, okay? You have to excuse my makeup. I just put something on real quick. Didn't really do a full face. It is what it is, okay? So, um, first off, I want to give all honor and glory to God. Y'all, honestly, truly. Um, I also want to thank you guys for all your well thoughts, prayers, and wishes throughout this entire ordeal. Um, so let's just back up and we're just going to go through what happened. Um, and then towards the end, I'm, and I'm going to share with you guys some tips that will hopefully help some of you who uh, I hope and no one would get affected by this, but let's just be honest. Some of you will, or you may have family members or friends who will become um, infected with this virus. So july early july it's been a couple of weeks so early july was the week of july so it was the week of july 6th yeah we're going into the fourth week now yeah the week of july 6th and you guys i'm a very busy mom wife um and sometimes i will admit i can get so busy that i forget to check in on my husband to see how he's doing so i noticed it's been a couple of days since i really really had a sit down talk with him and so i thought something was wrong i'm like what the hell did i do did it is he mad at me because he's been very very quiet the past two or three days right so by the third day i said you know what let me go ahead and get up and stay up when he gets home from work. My husband works second shift in the hospital, okay? We're gonna get to that in a minute. So um, I stayed up the third night when he got home. I'm like, hey, what's up? You know, how you been doing? I know it's busy at work. Are you okay? Okay, are things okay? He's like, yeah, I just haven't been feeling well lately. He said that his neck has been giving him problems. He doesn't know if he's been doing too much, you know, heavy lifting. And so he said, you know, the pain is kind of almost radiating towards his chest. He pointed, you know, this area, you could, guys couldn't see it right here. And so he said he didn't know if it was his allergies or what, because he couldn't get in to see the allergist to get an allergy shot. They were postponing all of the um, appointments until August. I was like, oh, okay, well, I had it in my head, you know, my mental roller dicks. Okay, the next night, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a little massage. I'm gonna cook a nice dinner and all this. So that was my hopes and plans, right? So Thursday comes around 
is that Thursday of the week of the sixth. Thursday comes around, he gets up, and I can tell he's really not feeling well. He skipped working out. My husband works out almost every day. He runs, he does weights, he stays in good health. He he has no underlying issues, okay? Out of the three of us, he's the healthiest. So I'm like, oh, okay. By the afternoon, he's like, I don't feel well. He starts coughing. I'm like, oh, okay. So then he says, um, I notice he goes to put on his clothes and he's like, and he puts on his mask. When he comes back, the, what triggered me, when he came back into the living room, he had a mask on. I was like, oh my God. So he's like, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the hospital. I'm gonna get tested. I'm not gonna play around with this. I said, get tested for, he said, I'm gonna go get tested for the coronavirus. I'm like, oh my God. So I said, you know, please let me know what's going on. While my husband, when he left, Something told me, Vivian, go ahead and start cleaning, and getting ready. I started disinfecting everything that he had touched. Then I was making, you know, remembering, oh my God, JB was all over him all day. He's been coughing off and on. And our son doesn't see him that much. So when he's off, they're all over each other. You know, he's been playing with him like, oh my God, JB has been all over him. It's like, okay, Vivian, don't worry about that. So I clean, clean, clean. Within an hour, my husband texted me and said, I tested positive. My heart dropped, y'all. Cause I'm like, oh my God, we've been all around him. JB and I are both high risk. I'll get to that in a minute. Jabez is my son. Those of you who don't know, we call him JB. So I got really nervous, but the mommy and me, the wife and me turned on. I didn't have time to react. So I start cleaning, 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 cleaning with bleach. Um, he then tells me, go ahead and move yourself into the back of the house. That's when I broke down crying. That's when I was like, I can't. I broke down crying, JB's looking at me. My poor child, is so, he's an empath like me. He's rubbing my back. And I, that's when I'm like, okay, baby, get it together. So I cleaned like crazy, y'all. Like it's not even anybody. The house smelled like bleach. Cause I was insurance trying to wipe everything down and preparing for him to get home. I took as much stuff as I could out of our bedroom because the goal was to put him in the in the master bedroom with the uh, with the master bath, and then JB and I would be at the front of the house. And I put a little trash can out front, a huge tray to be serving all his meals. Boom! I did all that like within 20 minutes, like no joke. And moved JB and I back here into our room. Um, so we did that for about three or four days. Um, he was coughing off and on. The doctor prescribed him, what did he prescribe him? He prescribed him Tylenol, like extra strength, strength Tylenol. This is the, the doctor, the ER physician, excuse me. Um, extra strength, strength Tylenol. He also got um, a breathing machine to keep tracks of his breathing. Um, I went ahead and pulled out my oximeter. I had certain supplies here. Um, I pulled out the oximeter. I made sure that we had liquid. Uh, Tylenol in case he wanted to take that instead of the pills and for the first two or three days he was feeling a little uh you know a little bad by the third day his symptoms all but cleared up by the fourth day his butt was trying to come outside the room I'm like no you, you need to go back inside um within uh once he got positive he said you guys need to get tested right away so woman's that by Sunday, we were able to find a place that could take both JB and I because this is the thing. A lot of these places, these pop up places, they will not test anyone under the age of 18. So that was a bit, you know, nerve wracking. So JB and I both got tested two days, two or three days after my husband tested positive. Okay. So by the fourth or fifth day, my husband's symptoms were clearing up. By the sixth day, I started showing symptoms. I'm coughing. Um, my sinuses, which would be the first day for me of symptoms. Let me just say that. Now we're going to go to me. One of my sinuses started to burn. Um, and then later on that evening, I started to feel happy. I started to have chills. I checked my temperature 98.7. So 99. Okay. I told my husband, I said, I'm cold. I'm having chills. And... I won't have my results from the urgent care for another, for another five days. He says, go to the ER, go to the ER immediately. Um, so I waited to get JB and then I felt horrible because I've been holding JB and he was sleeping next to me and I'm like, I've been breathing on my baby all this time. He probably has it. 
so put JB to bed, ran to the ER, went to the ER, the ER was empty. Y'all, God, God, nothing but God, the ER was empty. Now this is a new um, <coughs> ER next to us, new within the past two years, okay, three years, three years. Got there, they did a rapid test, which is totally different from what they did at the urgent care. The rapid test, they can give you your results within 15 minutes or so, whatever. So, um, the only, I think one of the reasons why they also agreed to see me is because I told them my husband tested positive. And so like, okay, yeah, we need to go ahead and test you. What are your symptoms? Yada, yada. ER doctor came in and said, well, your husband gave you COVID. I'm like, well, damn, <laughs> no, no. So I didn't really freak out or anything because I figured I already knew I, since I was having symptoms, like more than likely, I didn't really freak out about that. Um, I had a mix of emotions, honestly. I, at first, I was scared, of course, because I have asthma. I also have hypertension, and I have a compromised immune system. I'm not gonna really go into that. So what's funny, a couple of days prior to that, I contacted my doctor just freaking out because I wanted to know what my latest labs were. And he's like, you know what? Yeah, your labs are okay. Certain things are low. He said, but there's no reason. Let me back up. I told my doctor my husband has tested positive for COVID. He's like, you know what? There's no reason why you shouldn't be able to fight this. Um, and, and my husband even stressed, he's like, yeah, you, you should be able to, you shouldn't have any problems. What we need to be worried about is your asthma triggering, triggering your asthma. I'm like, okay, okay, cool. So this doctor, the ER doctor, based on my his, history, he prescribed me steroids, Tylenol, Motrin, cough medicine, and something else that I can't think of. The only thing I used out of that set Oh, I needed to use was the cough pills. Everything else I just have sitting up in the cabinet. Okay, so you guys, let me go over some of our symptoms. Okay, I'm gonna go over my some of my husband's symptoms first, and then go over some of my my symptoms. So, um, this is an order of the days, and I cat I tracked for the first 12 days. <laughs> Neck soreness, headache, allergy-like symptoms, headache, felt feverish, feverish. Then he went into a light cough, night low grade fever. My husband had low grade fevers at night. Um, and my thing was, I'm like, if it doesn't get over like 101, don't take any medicine. You just feel a little bad, just go to sleep. So that's what we did. He didn't really take anything because the fever is serving a purpose, okay? Um, by day six, no symptoms, okay? Day seven, day eight, sinus pressure. As I stated earlier, my husband wasn't able to get his allergy shot. So this virus really flared up his allergies, you guys. I mean, he felt worse on day nine and 10 than he felt on day four and five because his allergies were not controlled at this point. Within three days of him receiving an allergy shot, his symptoms were mild. So now my symptoms, I told you earlier, I had a low grade fever. Um, I had, I did have a headache. It wasn't a really bad headache. I just had a slight headache. I thought I was dehydrated. I took some water. Then the night I went to the ER, I had the fatigue, coughing, um, sinus burning. I did had a really rough coughing, a coughing fit. <clears throat> where I cough and my entire throat felt on fire. My throat has, I've never felt like that. I, I never felt that bad. I said, if that, if I have to go through that for a couple of days, I will be miserable. But thankfully it was just that one coughing. Okay? So extreme fatigue. We were both very, very tired. And the thing with this virus, we will have a couple of days where we felt good, not feeling good. We thought we were on the men's, we will have one day where we felt okay, and then the next day, all all go to hell. We felt really, really bad. Just, you know, just it, it just lingers there. The virus seriously lingers there. A week into it, like day eight for me, I started having shortness of breath. It was really hard for me to catch my breath. We have a nebulizer here. I immediately, well not immediately, at night, I took one dosage of my Ibuterol. I still have these. Um, and so I was on my nebulizer for three days. Uh, the shortness of breath, the shortness of breath, excuse me, eased up about three days ago. Um, along with the shortness of breath, I had chest tightness and my anxiety heightened like nobody's business. All right, so seven days and two, both, seven days after I tested positive, JB gets a fever of 100. 
He's the only one out of all of us who had a daytime fever of 100. At one point it got 101. I'm like, oh my gosh, seriously. So before that, <laughs> two days prior to that, I remember, I remember him coughing a lot more. When he experienced that fever for the day, I let it run. He seemed to be in good spirits. He was up, you know, you know, playing or whatever. At night, I gave him Tylenol. He slept like a baby. He slept all night. About three to four days after that, when he woke up, he's like, he kept trying to clear his throat. So he had mucus build, build up. I did too. I felt like there was just mucus all up in here. So those are our symptoms. Now let me tell you some things that we did to help treat this because there's no cure, right? There's nothing for it. In addition to the um, cough medicine and of course my allergy medicine, we ensured that we were up to date on any prescriptions that we had with of course my husband wasn't able to get his. Um, I made sure two weeks ago that I had enough allergy medication for JB and I and of course we had our medication, the liquid medication for the nebulizer. <coughs> um, I also started taking vitamin C a month ago. So um, my husband and I take a number of vitamins every day, you guys, even prior to this. So I'll, there's a lot. I will say this, it is quite a bit. So I'm on vitamin C, vitamin D, magnesium. Um, I, I take this liquid form of vitamin B. B is like B12, B6 is a number of things and folic and all this other stuff. Um, I also take, is that it? <laughs> um, that's what I take. Now, once I got, got tested positive, I added iron to that. I added elderberry juice and zinc. I didn't add iron. I'm sorry. I added zinc, elderberry juice to that. And I upped the vitamin C by one more capsule. Husband always took vitamin D, B12. We added elderberry juice, vitamin C after he got um, after he tested positive. JB takes an elderberry gummy every day. I didn't add anything else to his, okay. Um, other things that we did, we ensured to, let me back up. My first protocol, my first thing that I did within like an hour, actually within 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes when I was cleaning, I immediately reached out to my friends and, and family and asked for prayer. I reached out to you guys, asked for prayer. Um, I reached out to people I, I know who wasn't on social media, I asked for prayer. I'm like, please keep my family in your prayers. And thank you again. Um, I also, I read so much into the book of Psalms. Y'all gonna try hard not to cry. Um, my favorite scripture was Psalms 46. I read that. Honestly, for like the first four days, that's all I did was I listened to healing scripture. I printed out healing scriptures. I started inserting our names into the scriptures. Everything. I mean, I needed to eat, live, and breathe the word. You guys, seriously. Because um, I didn't want my mind going there. Do you know what I mean? As soon as they, they said I was positive, Oh, I started thinking all types of things. Oh, this this can happen. This can happen. you you will get attacked. Okay, and we know where it comes from. I try not to to look at the news and all of that. So anyway, in addition to the vitamins and praying and meditating, um, we ensured that we ate fairly clean. Besides the one or two days where we had, I think like we had pizza one day, one night, and then girl Chick Fil A. Look, look, God works in mysterious ways because Chick Fil A all of a sudden started to deliver in this area. So we had Chick Chick Fil A delivered one day, but overall we ate fairly clean. I made soups. I made. Um, we ate. Uh, whole grains we ate vegetables i had two oranges a day to get that you know vitamin c in um and it was so funny the day before i had got a bunch of ginger the day before i got positive i got a bun bunch of ginger and an indian woman was checking me out she's like oh you got a lot of ginger um you know one thing that we this is the indian cashier talking to me she said one of the things that we do in my culture what we've been doing to fight this thing, meaning the, the coronavirus, is we make a ginger tea. I said, oh, that's exactly what I'm gonna be doing because that's something I, I've always used to do anyway when I feel down, ginger tea. So she told me how they, they do it. A bunch of ginger tea, y'all. I mean, a bunch of ginger. I mean, like, a, a bunch of ginger with um, like four or five lemons. You boil that <laughs> in water. You let it seep 
for a while, for like an hour. And also bush tea. I ordered um, the bush tea through Amazon. Bush tea is very popular in South Africa. So teas, teas, teas. We of course cut out alcohol. Al alcohol is, is inflammatory. Um, and also I cut out uh, coffee. I had my first cup of coffee like three days ago. I cut I immediately cut out coffee, no sweets. If we had sweets, it was very minimum, okay? Um, no dairy besides that cheese pizza. Like literally, really, really took the time to clean up our diet. I've lost six pounds, <laughs> ironically. My husband has lost two pounds. Um, but yeah, I lost a couple of pounds. So right now, it has been about four days since I've had, you know, really bad symptoms. Like I said, I cough every now and then. My nasals right now are definitely um, congested. Um, my husband is fully, he started feeling better. He said um, two days after he had his, his, his allergy shot, he started to feel better. JB was only sick maybe three or four days and you know he has allergies you know right now where he still feels a little mucus build up but nothing too bad so at this point we still have to stay inside and self isolate to august that's it you guys i say please 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 wear your mask out there when you go out now what i know people are probably thinking where do we get it from my husband got it from his job anyway, not going to really go down that rabbit hole but there was somebody in his office excuse me somebody in the lab that was out of compliance with their mask that's all i'm going to say when i heard that i was heated infection control has been calling my husband try to you know get a little bit more feedback from him a little bit more information they know who it is we you know my husband knows who it is too and i'm just like how the hell are you gonna work in a hospital and not be compliant with a damn mask that's ridiculous. Now you got everybody sick. And apparently there are several people in the laboratory who are sick. These people don't have any direct contact with patients. So they shouldn't be getting COVID unless one of them in the actual lab has it. And you're not properly. Yeah. So y'all, lessons learned, takeaways from me. Um, this has definitely increased my faith in God. Because I'm a type of believer and I know this is wrong. I oftentimes feel like I don't deserve anything i'm not worthy of anything i i don't deserve this you know what i mean um and, and i can't be that way this has definitely got have brought me closer to god and um i think it's really important to have that close relationship with our savior uh it's also brought us closer as a family because this is something that we have all experienced okay and it's also taught me that because for for a minute there For like the first two or three days where we were all sick, me, me and my husband and I, it felt very lonely. It felt extremely, like th there was no one reaching out. People started reaching out to me like by the seventh or eighth day. But when we were sick, like for the first two or three days, it, it felt extremely lonely. Because you can't do anything, you can't really, you know what I mean? So I felt very, I, I've already was feeling disconnected even as an introvert from the outside, but having to be in the house and knowing that you're sick with this, I felt very disconnected and I felt extremely lonely and still until I started, um, stop feeling bad for myself. You know what I mean? So that is it. You guys, like I say, you know, thank you all so much again for your thoughts and prayers and I'll see you guys on the next video. Take care. Bye.